campaign. Well, I was equally stunned and I was speechless because now we have a clear example of the president and Michael Cohen lying repeatedly to the American people, Gail, about this payment, about the arrangement, the, agree the agreement, what the president knew and when he knew it. And I think we've only scratched the surface. Well, it makes our case that much stronger, and I think it makes our efforts to depose the president uh, that much stronger. Now what Mr. Trump and Mr. Cohen and now Mr. Giuliani expect the American people to believe is as follows, that a woman came forward, a, a adult film star, made up a story about having sex with the president. They didn't believe her. They knew she was lying, and they promptly paid her $130,000. It's absurd. Well, these, guys are, these guys are making it up as they go along. They're not looking at the big picture. They're not telling the truth. And ultimately, it's going to cost them dearly. I think we're going to prove the details of this reimbursement. I think there's going to likely be criminal liability, criminal exposure in connection with how this payment was handled, how the money in what sense? How the money flowed. If they were if they were sending bogus law firm retainer invoices in an effort to have those paid with the expectation that no work was going to be performed, and that's how they were going to reimburse the, this payment, that very well may have significant liability associated with it. I, I believe that ultimately he will be forced to resign due to information that his is going to come to light in connection with our case as well as the raids um, by the FBI. What is